um, you know, if you've got to crew the base from outside, uh, it typically would mean that the aircraft and the crew are starting from another base, which means the, uh, you know, the first departure depends on the first arrival, which typically means that the first departure will be later than if you had uh, people based in the airport. Uh, so, yeah, it does have implications in terms of the timing of the schedule that would be operated. And I think you're right, as I say, I don't have any inside knowledge as to what Aer Lingus is uh, thinking about. Uh, I would imagine and expect that they will continue to operate from Shannon, uh, but the shape of the schedule and the level of activity will be uh, very different to uh, what has been normal at Shannon. It's more expensive uh, to some degree. You can provide them, but normally what it means is you're uh, overnighting crew in hotels rather than having them based there. And in many cases, that's what airlines do uh, when there is insufficient activity at the base to justify having people based there. And so, you know, Aer Lingus have early morning departures, or certainly they did have early morning departures from a number of European cities, but the crew aren't based there. They operate a, a late flight in from, uh, you know, Ireland and an early departure, but they, they stay in a hotel. So it's not impossible uh, to do it. So I, I wouldn't say... Uh, yeah. Business people will lose out, but it does impact on the schedule because it makes it more complex than if you have people based, people and aircraft based.